Hello and welcome to my channel. Hope you are feeling strong and well. In this vlog, it's a little bit different. I'm here at Deer Hill. Well, Deer Hill is that way. And uh, I am at the bottom of Deer Hill, of course. And I've heard that there's a barn owl around here. So I've come out to have a look at it. What a wintry scene we've got here. So I'm hoping you're gonna enjoy the views and uh, a relaxing vlog just uh, as the sun comes down, we're gonna see if this barn owl is gonna come out. Apparently it's uh, nesting in a barn way down there by that, over that wall, uh, there's a farm and it's uh, nesting in a barn down there. So I've come out to see if I can catch it hunting, not actually catch it, catch it on my camera. I'll show you the camera that I'm using. And uh, let's see uh, if we can catch it hunting, get some nice shots of it, bit of video and a few photographs. Sometimes it's just nice to just relax, slow down and just look at everything. And over the years I've collected quite a bit of good gear. These binoculars being part of that, some Mead binoculars, very powerful. And I've always been interested in wildlife. If you follow my vlogs, you'll see that I've done a little bit of wildlife, but uh, I think as I'm getting older, this is a little bit more relaxing. <laughs> I'm enjoying this, hope you are too. So I do know that it, it hunts down in that field down there. Uh, where I'm looking and I know a few posts that it sits on because I came past the other day and I did spot it So no luck with the barn owl right now, but I don't think we'll be seeing the barn owl until that sunshine has just dipped down the other side of Deer Hill and it's getting there I can feel the heat from that sun as well and we are in early December so a nice wintry scene as I say and uh, it's so peaceful once you've got that dusting of snow the all the sounds are dulled down so nice and peaceful I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the camera that I use to capture my wildlife and uh, further away scenes with a long lens on it but this is a good all-round camera an oldie but goodie and a great as I say all-round camera to have in your bag and because uh, it's an old one it's, uh, you can get it for about 600 quid second hand. Now it seems a lot, but uh, wait till you see the camera. Um, I think you'll be impressed. And if you're looking for that all round camera to uh, put in your bag for video photography. So this is the camera that I'm talking about. It's the Lumix, can you see that? <laughs> it's the Lumix FZ 2000. Great camera, let me get this strap on so I don't drop it. Or if I do drop it, it doesn't hit the deck over these weird gloves weird gloves look at them gloves oh do you know i've caught the camera on barbed wire trying to show you my gloves what a fool i'm so glad that i've still got the lens cover on let's not show you the gloves that's not what we're here for rob so camera lumix fz2000 um this is what i use for my uh wildlife photography and what we'll be using today of course to hopefully capture this uh, owl barn owl uh, 24 to 480 zoom lens great camera flippy out screen great viewfinder uh, great camera great all-round camera uh, so that's what we'll be using Okay, so I'm slowly going to make my way down to a better vantage point by a wall down there. Hopefully the people start clearing away quite a few dog walkers out. Um, the sun has just gone down the other side of Deer Hill and it's instantly so much cooler. I can feel it on my fingertips already. Now we might get a little bit more sunshine as I walk down here. It's back again. Now that's nice. Yep, I can feel that. So when we walk down um, down here, we're getting closer to the barn where the barn owl is nesting. I might be able to give you a bit of a look at that. Not at the nest, just at the barn. Yeah, the sun is back out. Gorgeous, gorgeous evening. Do you know what? I think I might have just seen it.
Okay, so I've snuck down closer to the barn where the barn owl is nesting and uh, the sun has definitely dropped and so has the temperature. It's pretty cold now. I've been standing around a while waiting for the barn owl to appear. I think it's too cold actually. I don't think there's going to be many uh, little voles and, uh, and mice coming out for it to, uh, to hunt. I think they'll be safely warm underground but the barn is just over that way. You might be able to just spot it. So I'm going to hang around a little bit longer but I think it's going to be a failure today but that's what you've got to accept with uh, trying to capture wildlife especially something uh, as elusive as a barn owl. Okay so I'm calling it a do. I am making my way back to the car now. It's absolutely freezing. Fingertips are freezing but I have enjoyed waiting around in the sunshine early. I hope you've enjoyed the views. It's been nice and peaceful and uh, I will return to this area see if I can actually uh, get some uh, footage and some pictures of that barn owl. Now when I did pass the other day, remember I mentioned that I did come down here yesterday and I did spot the barn owl and uh, I did get this little snap of it. Well I got two pictures of it uh, but I wanted to do better today. So I'll leave you with these uh, couple of pictures and um, until the next one, bye.